assalamu alaikum students in the last lecture we discussed about the sign conventions for spherical mirrors as i told you that the sign conventions are used the significance of the sign conventions is that it is used to get a numerical value we have to put these signs in order to get the numerical value and that very numerical value would give us the different characteristics of image now how to get that numerical value which would give us the different characteristics of image like the position of image nature of image that numerical value is calculated with the help of a formula called mirror formula let's discuss mirror formula mirror formula it's the relation between relationship between or a relation between image distance image distance is the distance at which the image is formed from the mirror image distance is simply a distance a numerical value distance at which the image is formed from the mirror for example image is formed at this point consider this board as mirror image is formed at this point so the distance between this mirror and the image is called image distance fine this image distance is denoted by letter v fine the next thing object distance object distance is denoted by u object distance is the distance at which the object is placed from the mirror i am placing this object to consider this board as a mirror i am placing this object here so the distance of the object from this mirror like this distance is 30 cm the distance of the object from the mirror this is known as object distance denoted by u fine the third is focal length which we have already discussed focal length the distance between pole and focus so it is denoted by small f mirror formula gives us the relationship between image distance object distance and focal length in the numerical we would be given either the object distance and focal length we have to calculate the image distance or we would be given the image distance and focal length we have to calculate the object distance fine so what's the relation now it is 1 by image distance plus 1 by object distance is equal to 1 by focal length 1 by image distance plus 1 by object distance is equal to 1 by focal length we can write it as 1 by image distance is denoted by v plus 1 by object distance is denoted by u is equal to 1 by focal length focal length is denoted by f small f so 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f is the mirror formula now we came across across through some definitions like center of curvature radius of curvature the focal length is actually equal to focal length is equal to r by 2 that is radius of curvature divided by 2 i can put it here i can put the value of uh, focal length as r by 2 here so i would write it as 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by i would replace f with r by 2 r by 2 fine here it goes 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 2 would come as numerator and the r would remain as denominator so 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 2 by r it this formula also denotes the mirror formula fine so you can write the mirror formula in two ways that is 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f or 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 2 by r depends upon the numerical if you are given with the focal length you would use this formula if you are given with the radius of curvature you can use this formula or you can simply first calculate the focal length by using this formula so here it is the mirror formula it is simply the relationship between image distance 
object distance and focal length. So 1 by V or 1 by image distance plus 1 by object distance is equal to 1 by focal length or 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F or 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 2 by R. Now after the mirror formula if we have to calculate the size of the image this formula would give us the nature and position of the image and numerical value that would give us the position and nature of the image. Now if we have to calculate the size of the image, the actual size of the image, we can say in the, with, uh, with the help of a uh, um, mirror formula, we can say that the image is bigger, smaller, equal to the size of the object, but we cannot calculate the actual size of the object. And the actual size of the object can be calculated using the formula of linear magnification. Let's go through the topic linear magnification. So we are actually looking for a numerical value first that would give us the different characteristics of image but those characteristics would not include the size of the image and for the size of the image we have to go through other concept called the linear magnification or magnification produced by spherical mirrors. Linear magnification by formula we can define it as the ratio of size of image you can write it as ratio of height of image, length of image, size of image, one and the same thing. It's the ratio of size of image to the size of object. Size of image to the size of object or the height of the image to the height of the object or the length of the image to the length of the object. Okay, so linear magnification linear magnification is equal to height of the image or size of the image to the height of object. Linear magnification is denoted by letter M is equal to height of the image you can write it as HI or H2 divided by height of the object you can write it as HO or H1. So M is equal to H2 by H1 is called the linear magnification. Again I am telling you it's the formula based definition of the linear magnification. But what's the actual concept behind linear magnification? This linear magnification would give me the size of the image. It would, uh, it would give me the information whether the image is equal to the size of the object, whether the image is greater than the size of the object or smaller than the size of the object. With the help of this formula, we can say whether the image is greater or smaller than the size of object or equal to size of object. At the same time, we can calculate the actual size of the image. That is whether 10 centimeter, 15 centimeter, whatever it would be. Fine. So, M is equal to H2 by H1. Now see, if M is greater than 1, if M is greater than 1, what would it represent? It would represent that the size of image is greater than the size of object, isn't it? See, when would M be greater than 1? When would be the value of m greater than 1? When the, numeric, uh, when the numerator would be greater than the denominator, like 3 by 2. Fine, numerator is greater and the denominator is smaller. 3 by 2 is 1.5. So this value is greater than 1. So m is greater than 1. What does that mean? m is greater than 1 simply signifies that the size of the image is greater than the size of the object. Now if anybody would say I am given with this, uh, this value m is equal to 2.2 what does this mean? Here we go with that uh, that I told you earlier that a simple numerical value would give us the information about the image. See here the m is, e is equal to 2.2 only this much information is given. 
so you can easily can cal cal calculate that m mean is magnification it is equal to 2.2 that is this value is greater than 1 and if it is greater than 1 it means the size of the image is greater than the size of the object so a simple numerical value give me the information that the size of the image is greater than the size of the object okay if m is less than 1 what would this signify m is less than 1 when would m be less than 1 it would be when the numerator would be less than the denominator isn't it when the numerator would be less than the denominator so what would be the value it would be less than 1 isn't it so m is less than 1 what does that mean m is less than 1 minus that the size of image or height of image or length of image is smaller than the size of object smaller than the size of object fine so you are given with this simple value m is equal to 0 0.5 m is equal to 0 0.5 what does this mean a simple numerical value you have it means m mean is magnification and magnification is less than 1 so m is less than 1 this numerical value gives me the information that an object has been placed in front of a spherical mirror and the image is formed let's forget about where the image is formed we would simply say that the image formed in this case is smaller in size than the size of the object clear okay now m is equal to 1 what does this mean when would m be equal to 1 when h2 will be equal to h1 or h2 height of the image is 3 height of the object is 3 it would come to be 1 fine if it is 4 the denominator would also be 4 it is equal to 1 should also be 4 fine okay so m is equal to 1 it means these two quantities are equal in magnitude these two quantities height of the image is equal to height of the object the value of h2 is 3 the value of h1 is also 3 then only the m would come out to be equal to 1 so m is equal to 1 means that is the size of image is equal to size of object like in case of plane mirrors when we went through the characteristics of image formed by plane mirrors one of the um, uh, basic characteristic was the in case of plane mirrors the size of the image is equal to the size of the object so here m is equal to 1 so in case of plane mirrors m is equal to always 1 that is the size of the image is always equal to the size of the object so simply if m is equal to 1 what does this numerical value tell you it simply signifies that the size of the image is equal to the size of the object so linear magnification would give me the information about the size of the image we still have to calculate the actual size it only gives me the information smaller greater or equal to the size of the object but still we are yet to calculate the actual size of the object we would go through that formula in a while so linear magnification gives me the information about the size of the image so linear magnification is simply height of the image or size of the image divided by size of the object or the height of the image to the height of the object if the value of m comes uh, comes out to be greater than 1 it means height of the image is greater than height of the object and accordingly so this is about the linear magnification now we would see the relation between linear magnification and mirror formula and that very relation would give me the actual size of the image let's see the relationship between a simple formula we have to write here with the help of that formula we can calculate the size actual size of the image see relation between re linear magnification and mirror formula
but you should keep uh, writing the formula is very easy but you should know what actually uh, the concept is behind this relation between linear magnification and mirror formula the concept behind this is to calculate uh, the actual size of the image in order to know the different characteristics of image let's uh, write down the relation the relation between linear magnification and mirror formula is m in case of spherical mirrors m is equal to h2 by h1 m mean is magnification h2 mean is height of the image h1 mean is height of the object is equal to minus v by u v mean is image distance u means object distance so m is equal to h2 by h1 is equal to minus v by u so in case of a numerical you would be given with h1 you would give given with object distance you would be given with focal length so you can calculate v once you got v with the help of mirror formula you can calculate h2 that is height of the image we would go, go through in the numerical in a while so m is equal to h2 by h1 magnification is equal to height of the image to the height of the object is equal to image distance divided by object distance so you can simply write it as h2 is equal to minus v by u into h1 this is the formula to calculate the size of the image or the height of the image so h2 is height of image this is image distance this is object distance and it is height of the object or size of the object so with the help of this formula you can calculate the size of the image so first we would calculate v the image distance which would give us the different characteristic of image like the position and nature of the image then we would calculate h2 height of the image with the help of this formula hope it is clear now we will discuss the numericals in the next lecture inshallah thank you